Hey everybody, welcome to part six of our playthrough of Famicom Detective Club Part Two. I'm Saint Stephen. And I'm your dog. Your dog. <laughs> uh, we are playing Famicom Detective Club Part Two in celebration of Nintendo officially releasing the full series in the West for the first time on Nintendo Switch on May 14th. Uh, this here is the Super Famicom remake that was unofficially translated by some fans of the Famicom original. So join us as we continue our journey through Famicom Detective Club Part 2, Chapter 6. <clears throat> Hello? Ah, uh, yes, he's waking up from being drugged with, his, with the coffee from Ayumi. No one's there. There's a note. What's this do? Oh, my head. <laughs> huh? That coffee tasted funny. Wait, what happened? Al's memory slowly returns. Why, Ayumi? My head. <laughs> so maybe the check one. Ayumi's long gone. Ah! Mm. Wait, no, that's like a. Ah! No, wait, no, no, no. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, it has to be like shock. Like, uh, what? Uh, maybe his, it's, maybe like, it's oh. just his eyes widen. Ah! <laughs> no, that's like. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next time for Famicom Detective Club Link Edition. <laughs> Let's see. Elle finds a, bo a bottle of sleeping medicine lying on the floor over by the coffee pot. Oh, jeez. Uh, Let's get the message. Huh? Al, I'm sorry, but I can't let him get away. I need to find <clears throat> out for myself who did it. Whether it was really Tazaki or not. Al, there's a chance that I'll never see you again. But in any case, I want you I want you to know that I'm sorry. Goodbye. Ayumi. My goodness. This can't be happening. <laughs> go, go, go! note in hand, L rushes out of the office. Oh, we can go to the city now. <clears throat> this is Mr. Tazaki's apartment. It doesn't look like anyone's here. There's no one here. It's locked. Yumi must have been here already. The neighbor doesn't seem to be around. There's nothing more I can do here. I'm wasting time. To the city. Time to hit the streets. Frantically searching high and low, Al eventually finds himself deep in the heart of the city. After asking dozens upon dozens of people, no one seems to have noticed anyone matching Ayumi's description. <clears throat> Nevertheless, Al continues to search, determined to catch Ayumi. Ayumi, where are you? Just as El starts to feel the weight of hopelessness sink into his heart, El comes across someone who may have spotted her. I don't know any girl named Ayumi, but there is a cute-looking little chickadee right around the corner here. Huh? Ayumi! Huh? Oh. I'm sorry. Hey, do you mean Ayumi Takibana? You're that, you're that detective, aren't you? <laughs> Ayumi skipped school today. She said she had a cold or something. Uh oh. Now that I think about it, I think I might have seen her recently. Mm hmm? I saw a girl down at the Galleria train station a little while ago. It might have been her. I'm not sure. Huh? 
Is this oh, the Galleria? Ayumi, where are you? It's pretty busy around here. I can't see Ayumi anywhere. I can't even be sure she's here. Him? <laughs> Ayumi, where are you? That's this guy over here, I think. What? <laughs> what business do you have with a poor old man like me? <laughs> Ayumi. Ayumi. Me, me, me. Come back to me, Ayumi. Oh, my head. <laughs> What's a kid like you doing all the way down here? Oh, no worries. There's enough here to go around. <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm too drunk for this. <clears throat> oh. He's long gone. Yep. But he's still here. <clears throat> Another <clears throat> drink? Sounds good! <laughs> <clears throat> what? 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 Mm. Mm. I know everyone around here, so come on, have a drink with me. This, this guy's guy. getting on my nerves. Another drink? Come on. Why so serious? Come have a drink. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh? how's about you, me, and this Ayumi babe go all out for uh, a night on the uh, town? I give up. What do I have to do to get this guy to leave me alone? <clears throat> this isn't getting me anywhere. I've got to find Ayumi soon. I'm sorry, sir. I'm in a hurry. If you can't help me find my school girlfriend, then I'm going to have to go. Huh? huh? Where do you think you're going? <gasps> Vaughn, kid! Hold on, I didn't mean to insult you. Uh, you saying I'm no good to hang around you, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is really getting on my nerves. A schoolgirl. Oh. Uh. A schoolgirl, you say? Sure, I saw her. Such a sweet little thing. Where? <laughs> right inside, sir. Step this way. Thanks, I think. <clears throat> Don't mention it. So, what can I do for you? You're looking for a girl, yeah? I don't believe I have a girl by the name of Ayumi, mm. but perhaps I could offer you a fully capable Rei or Asuka. I don't think this guy's mm. gonna help. Ayumi, where are you? Hmm. I don't believe I've seen any girl like that around here lately. Ah, let him be. People come here to forget about their problems. I don't remember seeing any high school girls around here lately. She might have headed directly to the train station, though. Uh. I don't know much about that. Come on. Maybe check vicinity again? Ayumi, where are you? Where are you? This is the Galleria. Gentlemen's Club for real gentlemen. <laughs> Countless <laughs> number of people walking around. I'm lost. 
he's, he's always drunk here. <laughs> another day, another dollar. Yes, sir. What am I missing? <clears throat> Many are people. Many people are passing by, keeping to their own business. No, nothing new there. He doesn't know much about that. Back to work for oh, me. Here we go. How about you, sirs? Looking for some fun? Oh, there's a sign. All sorts of smuts in there. <laughs> How do you mean, where are you? He's hard at work, talking up a storm. Wait a second. Isn't that Principal Yurabe? Oh, jeez. But who's that guy he's with? Just then, L hears someone call out for him. L? Huh? Mrs. Kojima, what are you doing in a place like this? I've been looking everywhere for you. There's something important I have to tell you. <clears throat> Hayumi came to her house around 6 p.m. today. That's after she left me at the detective agency. <laughs> That's after she left me at the detective agency. How do oh. you know? <clears throat> she said she came to offer a prayer in Yoko's memory. She seemed almost like a completely different person today. Like something heavy was on her mind. Hmm. Huh? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried by the way she said goodbye when she left. So I decided to go after her and see if she was okay. But she was already out of sight. I then tried to phone you and talk about it, but nobody answered. So I came. <laughs> Wow, and she came all the way out here. So I came out to search for you. How did she know I was in the city? This is Kojima. The truth is... What? Ah, she drugged you? <laughs> Why on earth would she want to drug you? Oh, my. What does she intend to do? What's going on? Show the sheet. Ah! You don't mean that Tizaki person c killed? Mm. Where is he? Mm. She's going after him alone? But that's so dangerous! <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe it either. Second. It's already been a few hours since she drugged me. She's probably way ahead of me by now. Oh, no, this could get ugly. I've got to find her. Now, wait! Before you go, take this photo of Ayumi. It might help you find her. <clears throat> oh, no, it's dark already. Neighbor looks there. Mm -hmm. It's locked. Okay. Ayumi must have been here already. Mr. Shizaki isn't here. Oops. There's a light on next door. Maybe someone's there. I hope they know something. Hmm. Maybe.
maybe no. speak to. Maybe he'll get us like a neighbor. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh, I thought you were Mr. Zaki. <clears throat> yeah, she was here today. Huh? Mm -mm. It was just after four when I heard Mr. Tazaki's voice outside. So I came out, and that's when I saw that girl from the photo. I saw Tazaki too, but it looked like he was running away. Oh, is the girl talking too? I was trying to give him this package, but there was no way I could catch him. What package? This package? It came today. It's addressed to Mr. Tazaki. But I signed for it when the postman realized he wasn't here. <clears throat> it's addressed to Dizaki. Can I see it? I don't know. It's not really mine to show you. Oh, I guess it's probably okay. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Tazaki wouldn't mind about something like that. And I did already go and show it to that girl. Huh? Just don't run off with it, okay? Hmm. The return address says Fumi Tazaki, <clears throat> 74 Marufuku Village. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we didn't actually look inside it. I'd better not show him that. It's not proven that Tazaki is the murderer yet. It's a small town northeast of here. It's a small town northeast of here. His mother's name is Fumi. He was born in Marufuku. Huh? Um, is that a revelation? By the way, who the heck are you? First that girl, and now you. Come in here and causing all sorts of ruckus. That girl came here asking the kind of questions you are now. I showed her the package, and she took down the address just before she left. Mm. Fayumi followed him all the way to Marafuku. I've got to find her. Let's go! <clears throat> Fayumi, where are you? Have you really gone where I think you have? In any case, I hope you're all right. Uh, Trying to ignore the dreadful possibilities, El speeds to Marafuku Village. Kids, don't speed. Oop. Having arrived at the address on the package, El eventually meets up with Fumi, Mr. Tazaki's mother. you hey that's not bad pleased to meet you i'm detective al witt huh? <laughs> toshio what have you done now toshio <laughs> that I, look on her uh, face <laughs> well, i can see where maybe uh you know it's a genetic thing yeah. <laughs> has your son come by recently huh no I haven't seen him. Toshio, uh, what have you done now, Toshio? Uh, <laughs> Who's that? Toshio, oh, come on. Uh, uh, Who's that? Uh, what in the world is going on? <laughs> Wait, is that really <laughs> such a good idea? Do I have to? I don't think. Uh -huh. yeah, the stuff in that note's mostly conjecture. Yeah. I don't want to implicate Tazaki unless I have to. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. 
she clearly doesn't know what's going on. Please, tell me what's going on. Is my son in trouble with the law? Mrs. Suzaki, despite whatever he may have done in the past... <clears throat> what? Uh, what kind of things is he getting himself into these days? Mrs. Suzaki, no charges have been filed against him at this point. He's always been such a burden. Uh, I don't know why he's always in trouble. He was such a pleasant boy. I don't know what to do. What is a mother supposed to do? <clears throat> I've been thanking my lucky stars ever since that Harabi man has been helping my son out. He's truly an inspiration. Toshio. What have you gotten yourself into this time? Toshio! <laughs> Toshio! <laughs> oh. Hey, Miss Tazaki. Who is this? By the way, has Toshio stopped by yet? Huh? I saw him a little while ago. I was showing some city girl the way here. He took off as soon as he saw us, though. Something's always spooking that guy. Ayumi. L shows Ayumi's picture to the man. Yeah, that was her! As soon as they locked eyes, she took off after him. Last I saw, they were headed toward the cliff. A cliff? Oh no! Oh. Um, stay back! Oh, oh! Hurrying as fast as he can, El finally reaches the cliff. There, he finds Ayumi tightly gripped by a frantic Tazaki. There's some sort of shiny-looking object in his left hand. I've got to be careful. Ayumi! El! <laughs> oh no. What should I do? Rush out. We gotta persuade. Think about what you're doing, Mr. Tazaki. Don't come any closer. I, I'm done for. He must be at the end of his rope. <clears throat> come on, what would your mother say if she knew you were up here now? Sh shut up. Don't play with me. I'll do it, I swear. Thinking. Hmm. Looks like persuasion isn't working. Uh oh. Don't move a muscle. I'll do it. I swear I will. Uh. There's got to be some other way. Huh? Suzaki, just let her go and we'll all forget this ever happened. You think I'm that gullible? <clears throat> just then, a sudden gust of wind blows by, causing Tazaki to flinch. It's now or never. Tazaki suddenly notices L trying to approach and raises his knife overhead. Uh. Ah! Tazaki, no! Oh, jeez. No, no, no! She's gonna die. Kid's gonna die tonight! I... I can't Stop do me. it! I'm no killer! Suddenly, Tazaki collapses in front of Al, hanging his head in shame as he drops his knife. I knew he wasn't... guilty. But now the Mr. principle Tazaki, is up. are you ready to tell me the whole story now? Yes. Yes. It went like this. The day before Mr. Kaneda was killed, I had an argument with him. He said he wanted me to repay this loan I'd taken out by the very next day, with no advance notice whatsoever. There was no way I could cough up that kind of cash so quick. 
So that night, I took a trip out to his house to try and reason with him. Oh. But when I got there, I found the police and everybody. Mm. There were a bunch of people gathered around who told me he'd been murdered. So the alibi you gave about repairing the wall was a lie? <clears throat> With all that debt on my hands, no one would have believed I hadn't killed Kaneda. Unless I had a solid alibi. So I got thinking, and remembered the principal had asked me to fix that wall a few days before. So, in the middle of the night, I snuck out and plastered it up real quick. The next morning, I went straight to the principal and told him everything. He looked a bit surprised, but you know what he said? I have faith in you, Mr. Taku Tazaki. That is why I will help you. Do not worry about this trivial matter. If anyone were to ask, ever ask me about it, I will simply say, I supervised you plastering the wall while the murder took place. The Canada case came and went. I got off scot-free. All thanks to Principal Yorabe, my altruist. Hmm. He's the only one who ever stuck up for me like that. See, I used to be into gambling big time. I got involved with some shady people and things got really out of hand. I did some time. And after I got out, nobody wanted to hire me. I didn't know where to go next, but somehow I met Principal Yorabe. No matter what I said or did, he always had faith in me. And he gave me a job. I'd come so far since the old days. He gave me a whole new shot at life. But I got comfortable at my new job. I slipped back into gambling a little. And before long, I needed a loan. That's where Kaneda came in. And the rest is history. Is this really the truth? Yes. So what's the story with Yoko Kojima? She came snooping around, asking more and more questions about what happened back then. I didn't know what to tell her. The more she asked, the more she knew I was hiding something. <clears throat> huh? She would push and push for answers. I got so sick of it, I let her have it one day. I just wish that nosy Miss Hayama wasn't there to see it all. And wouldn't you know it, a few days later, she turns up dead. Just my luck. Why didn't you tell the truth until now? I don't know. I just get caught up in my lies sometimes. It's terrible. I never know what to do. When you came around, I did my best to hide the truth from you. I was afraid that if my cover got blown, Everybody would realize Irabe helped me cover up, and his career would be over. Back when I eavesdropped on you and Miss Hayama, I decided something. I decided to protect Principal Irabe the only way I could, by ending it all in the sea, here in my hometown. But when I got to my apartment, I found Ayumi waiting for me there. All she did was ask me to tell her the truth, but I snapped and said something really awful to her. <clears throat> I said, if people carry on pestering me like this, I'll... I'll kill him. That detective too, I said. Ah! <laughs> so later when I arrived in town just as I was about to meet up with my mother, there Ayumi was waiting for me. And then, when I saw you coming too, I couldn't help it. I grabbed her and... Oh no. What have I done now? Please forgive me. It's all right, Mr. Tazaki. Al, I believe him.
Please, you have to believe him. Look at him. Now, I'm sorry. Ayumi. And so, as evening draws near, the three head back from the northern sea out of harm's way. Hey. <clears throat> the next day, Al and Ayumi return to the office. Al, will you ever forgive me? Oh, Ayumi, don't worry about it. It's water under the bridge. I don't know what to say about all this. Well, I couldn't bear to think about what I'd do if anything happened to you, so I thought I should go alone. Thanks for thinking of me, but that was pretty reckless of you. I... I just couldn't bear to lose another friend. We're friends! <laughs> sure, wrong picture. Is this you? Uh, I've been looking for you all, all night. It's not time to review. Hmm. I'm a spark comforter. Ayumi, don't worry. After all, I'm a third degree black belt. Uh, I'll protect you. Uh, Al, your zip is <laughs> open. Uh. <laughs> that was slightly embarrassing. But at least I made her smile. Mm. Oh, so we did it on purpose. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to review. Things sure seem to have come full circle lately. Tazaki, almost resorting to violence, finally broke down and confessed his lies. I still think he should be arrested. Threatening a minor? Definitely, that's... On another note, I'm sure that was the principal I saw at the Galleria. But who was that man he was with? Um, gosh, I'm so late for school. If I leave now, I should just be able to get there by fourth period. <laughs> uh, you'd better hurry. Walk with me, okay? Let me think about that. Uh, uh, hold on. Chapter 7. An Unusual Connection. Mm. All right. Another chapter down. That's right. Well, on that note, folks, thank you for joining us for Chapter 6 of Famicom Detective Club Part 2. And we hope you've you've been enjoying it so far. If you're joining us for the, for the first time, go back and watch the previous videos. Not a lot of people have played this game, so I'm sure it's new to a lot of you out there. Well, thank you so much for playing. Like and, and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.